I actually don't want to make this video. I didn't want to talk about this. I stopped myself so many times, but it got more and more ridiculous to the point where I was like, this is so insane. How is no one noticing this? These people really don't stop. Stealing the spotlight from the government raiding my business, pretending it was them, ending up on Fox News, and then they use that platform to ask for money and donations. Absolutely disgusting, fake liars. I wouldn't buy steak from these bandits, let alone donate to them. So back about two months ago, after my business was raided, these crooks saw an opportunity to make a white smoke campaign, uh, which is what one of my viewers calls it. I think false flag is a better definition, but not entirely accurate, because the fake Amish douche off grid with Doug and Stacy YouTube channel made a viral video that Amish farms are getting raided. And the article they actually used occurred over a year ago. Then goes on Fox News, and you can guarantee that they're all in the club, 100% controlled opposition, if it's given any media spotlight on that scale. So from that publicity, they rose over $145,000 on GoFundMe. But for what? This guy Amos Miller is always in the press, but never shows proof of anything. No photos of destroyed products, no court documents, nothing, no bills from lawyers, no knowing the fines have been paid, for, nothing, no proof whatsoever, just says it and gets his buddies to post about it and then asks and begs for money. Now, that should have been enough for me to get pissed off. I said, hey, it's fine, just let it go. If I point out these thieves, they'll try to turn it against me as usual. But then, those cocksuckers sent out an email suggesting you purchase from another secret society-owned business. Not me, who was getting raided as well. Some astroturfed bullshit with vague marketing terms about the quality of their meat. Might as well buy from ButcherBox. It's fucking comical. They distract you from the real person being harassed by the government steal your money through donations, and then tell you to support their buddies and said, oh yeah, by the way, buy meat from them. They're good people. Like, go fuck yourself. Fucking cocksuckers. Now, that still wasn't the last straw for me. What broke the camel's back was him asking for legal fees on top of the $145,000 he just raised. As many of you know, Amos Miller, our selfless farmer, has been facing persecution and prosecution for years. <laughs> yeah, this God-worshipping hypocrite is one hell of a comedian. A hundred thousand for legal fees? I've been in more lawsuits than this guy, and I've actually paid lawyers, and I haven't come close to that amount of money. We prayed for this day, and God has answered. Robert Barnes shared our faith and belief in our sacred right to choose what we eat and put in our own bodies. They are using the veil of Christianity, believing in God, to seem pure and innocent, yet are 100% affiliated with the evil satanic elite that own these media platforms. That's the only reason they were able to make that much money. And since this guy is such a liar, we can't believe that any of those things really happened to him. So without a doubt, my scenario was much, much worse. And I never asked you guys for a dime. I never even like did a going out of business sale or tried to ask you guys to purchase more meat from me. I never did any of that because I don't think it's the right thing to do, especially with what has gone on over the past few years, economy crashing, people struggling financially. How could you guilt trip people into sending you money, especially if they didn't really need it, if nothing actually happened to them, if they were just making it up? And the point here is how dishonest these people are, how selfish they are. Do you really trust him to provide you with quality food? Do you believe the words coming out of his mouth, if the meat is grass-fed, if the meat is X quality? If he's willing to scam people like that, I'll tell you, he is not, no integrity whatsoever with the products. There's no reason to support this scumbag. 
there's half a dozen Amish farms I can list off the top of my head. You can even just Google them. If you guys don't want to buy from me, that's fine. Just don't, don't I wouldn't go to this guy. It, it's, it's really, really lame, but then they just choose the next person to support. So it's whatever. Uh, as always, thank you guys for joining me. But you know, they just, they just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until the rope breaks. It, it's just, it's really, really stupid. Anyway, uh, you guys can go to frank-tufano.com to support me through all of my businesses. But as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.